Standing as black as the night The world of a cave in the moonlight The glint of his sword sends a shiver of fear When Zorro suddenly appears Tyrants who steal from the floor Tremble at his name Zorro is watching them They can't escape from him Zorro will bring them to shame Out in old California So the story is told Diego finds his destiny Shining brighter than gold The whisper of his name Stirs hope in the hearts of the poor Zorro will fight for them all Through the night for them Zorro will always do Do you stop these men? By order of Capitan Montesero! Orders or not, your Capitan is a common thief! Do not be scared, men! I'll handle the dangerous part! Of running away with the lasting powder! you've left yourself exposed. You won't escape this time, Zorro! Correction, my friend. It is you who are out on a limb. I fear it's too late to save the blasting powder. Tie them to the tree. If you value your lives, you'll take these horses and return to San Francisco in a hurry. How did you learn of our mission? The less you know, the better. Now get moving! Yeah! So the rumors are true. There is a masked man who fights injustice in this Pueblo. You've heard of him? Who is he? He is the one they call the Fox. He is Zorro. Zorro, again. Ooh. <laughs> but we got the powder, uh, Capitan Montesero. I do not believe this, Sergeant Garcia. And it's been taken to a safe place. That is not the point. That blasting powder could have been headed for the hands of seditionists. I needed to question those couriers. Every time this Zorro strikes, he sows the seeds of rebellion in the hearts of the people. I've been tolerant long enough. We must take severe measures to catch this 
fox, and quickly. Ah, Isabella, my dear, how kind of you to visit. Bernardo, some tea, please. We were just discussing last night's excitement. Have you heard? But of course, the entire Pueblo's talking about it. This Zorro is turning into a true champion of the people. Don Alejandro is a true humanitarian, Isabella. When he learned our blasting powder had been stolen, all he cared about was the safety of the couriers. The expense of the powder is a small thing compared to the lives of those men. But now we'll have to delay the irrigation project. Aren't you too interested in just who this Zorro might be? Of course, but he could be anyone. Indeed. Even our good Professor Hernandez. What? <laughs> Me? My dear, he's an agricultural expert, not a rebel. Oh, really? I seem to recall Zorro first appeared last month, just days after the professor arrived from Spain with Diego. Hello, Diego. Go back to your book. I've come to the Hacienda many evenings to find you gone, Professor. And we all know Zorro only strikes at night. The Professor often goes out at night, my dear, to study the ranch's soil. Oh, really? Uh, it's easier to gauge the depth of the water tables at night. Oh, I'm certain it is. I assure you, Senorita, I, I am not the masked man. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some work to do. <sighs> and Diego, what of you? Hmm? Uh, I beg your pardon, Isabella? Aren't you the least bit curious who Zorro might be? Oh, it's all politics, and politics bore me. I'm much more interested in matters of philosophy. I do admire your son, Don Alejandro. But why couldn't he be just a little bit like Zorro? Oh, my dear. The world needs men of learning just as much as it needs men of strength. Hmm. Even if they are a little dull. Oh, senorita. You should not be going out at this late hour. How else am I going to find out where Professor Hernandez goes at night? But, my lady... Oh, don't worry, it's perfectly safe. Capitan Montesero has placed the Cahuenga Gorge off-limits. I'm just gonna ride out there and find out why. You, you call this safe? Isabella, this will lead to nothing but trouble. Oh, don't be silly. After all, Zorro always comes to the aid of a lady in distress. This area is off-limits. What is your purpose in coming here? Uh, nothing. Cannot a lady take a little night air without tripping over a pack of Montesero's wolves? Are you aware that the Capitan has ordered no one to be allowed to leave this area alive? Oh? And is your Capitan such a coward that he fears a solitary lady? Silence! Men, deal with her. <gasps> now we'll make an example of you, trespasser. Why not make an example of me instead? Nothing better to do than attack defenseless women in the middle of the night. Defenseless? I'll have you know I can look out for myself. Senorita, if I were you, I'd consider running at this point. Right? 
Who's next? There's nothing to fear! Toronado! Toronado, come! The fire must have scared both of them off. At least Toronado knows to head for home. Hernandez, I'll prove that you're Zorro. You, on your feet. Yo. You are under arrest. Senior Zorro. But I, I, but I'm not... Quiet, Toronado. <sighs> oh, it's been a long night. Bernardo, what's gotten into you? <gasps> Diego, you're... Isabella, what, what are you doing here? I, I came on Zorro's horse. I, I mean, your horse. Diego, you're Zorro? Catch on quickly, don't you? Well, the fox is out of the bag now. But you seem so changed since you returned from the university in Madrid. So bookish. That was deliberate on my part. From my father's correspondence, I, I learned how Montesero's tyranny had spread across California. I vowed to take up the fight against him long before I left Spain. I adopted the guise of a bookworm to hide my true purpose. Only Bernardo knew of my plan. He's been of inestimable help. Bernardo? How? Oh, don't let his lack of speech fool you. He's very clever with mechanical devices. His inventions have gotten me out of many a tight spot. But what is this place? The secret caves beneath my father's hacienda. Diego, I'm so glad you haven't really changed. Isabella, I implore you, don't tell a soul what you've seen here. On one condition. Let me help you. You aren't the only one who wants to fight Montesero. Isabella, this is a dangerous game I'm playing. And I can play it just as well as you. Oh. 
Well, with Montesero's stranglehold on the Pueblo growing tighter every day, you'll probably get your chance. Tell the truth, Professor. No sooner do you arrive from Spain than the masked man starts making trouble. Admit you are Zorro. Uh, I told you I'm just here to oversee Don Alejandro's irrigation project. I'm not a Californio. I'm due to return to Spain next month. What quarrel would I have with you? You'd better stop lying or I'll cook your chicken. Uh, uh, I, I mean, goose. Enough. This man is exactly who he says he is. But I was just starting to have fun. <laughs> Why waste a perfectly good arrest? Yes, Garcia, you're right. We shall use him as bait to catch a fox. How kind of you to accompany me to the plaza, Diego. Hmm. After last night's trouble, someone has to keep an eye on you. Besides, I heard a new translation of Plato just arrived from Spain. <clears throat> Hear ye, people of Los Angeles. Professor Xavier Hernandez has been arrested for crimes of treason. He will be executed at dawn. Uh, unless the man known as Zorro uh, surrenders himself to the military authorities at the Coenga Gorge by midnight tonight. Come, there is work to be done. This rope bridge is the only way across the Coenga Gorge. No doubt that's where Montesero intends to capture Zorro. And he declared the area off limits a few days ago. I think it might be where he's keeping your father's blasting powder. Yes, it's in a hiding place a few hundred feet from the gorge. How did you know? Well, after all, I am Zorro. It looks like I'm going to have to surrender. But Montesero will destroy you. On the contrary. Montesero is going to release Professor Hernandez and return the stolen blasting powder. Diego, have you lost your senses? Not at all, but I will need the help of both of you. And one of your inventions, Bernardo. I want both of you to ride to the gorge. If you take this route, you'll avoid the patrols. Then you can speak. Wait here, Toronado, my own friend. So we meet at last, Senor Zorro. If you want the professor, come and get him. Come on, he is waiting for you. You must feed your prisoners well, Montesero. The professor's put on a little weight. Closer, closer. Now! And now, Senor Zorro, having just met, I fear we must say goodbye. I'm afraid you won't be around to interfere with my plans anymore. Don't be so sure, Capitan. I'll defend you, my Capitan. Oh. Curse you, Zorro. Must you always have some trick up your sleeve? <laughs> You'll find I'm full of surprises. They're coming. Let's go. You're not the only one with tricks up his sleeve, Zorro. Now throw down your sword or I'll blow us all sky high. <laughs> with what? An empty hole? The blasting powder! It's gone! Uh, oh, it's still around. It will take approximately one minute for that fuse to reach the powder kegs. That's how long you have to sign the release papers for Professor Hernandez. You don't think you'll actually get the chance to use this, do you? Just sign it. Now, Capitan. Now, to give your steel a true test. 
Nothing is going to stop me, Zoro. I shall not rest until all of the Californios are beneath my boot. I shall stop you, Montessero. You are an emissary of the king, so I will not harm you. But wherever you turn, I will be there. Whenever you hatch your evil schemes, I shall arise to crush them. You will never get rid of me. Do you hear? Never! I wouldn't bet on it, traitor. Bernardo, he should have returned by now. What if he got caught in that awful explosion? I didn't see him escape, did you? Oh, I'm afraid I cannot wait for him any longer. I must get home before I am missed. Promise you will tell me if anything's happened to him. Mm. Isabella, my dear, what brings you over so early in the morning? Uh, Don Alejandro, have you seen Diego? Now that you mention it, I haven't seen him since dinner yesterday. Oh, no. Ugh, Don Alejandro. My dear professor, you're free. Yes, the the papers for my release came an hour ago. I, 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 I don't know who did it, but that's not the only thing. Look here! There's two of the missing powder kegs. Enough for us to continue the irrigation project. <sighs> oh. Oh, I simply must stop reading Aristotle till the wee hours. Why, Diego, one would think you'd been playing with blasting powder. By God, that sorrow is a wonder. But who could he possibly be? That's a mystery that may never be solved. Mm -hmm.